So we often get questions about what is night eating syndrome? Do I have it? Night eating syndrome is characterized by recurrent episodes of eating during the nighttime, which could be awakening from sleep or any eating that happens after the evening meal. Oftentimes people are awakening multiple times during the night to eat. We also hear that people sometimes feel like there is no way for them to fall back asleep until they eat. Most often these episodes can be recalled and remembered. So the next morning people know that they woke up four times and they'd remember what it is that they consumed. One of the distinguishing factors is that the episodes themselves are very, very distressing, but also that it affects functioning because understandably, if your sleep is significantly disrupted, that's gonna affect lots of things during the waking hours may affect concentration, attention, mood. We often see increased depression or anxiety. And oftentimes these can have a very significant impact on day-to-day -day functioning. When you're wondering if you might be struggling with night eating syndrome, there's a few other things to consider. First of all, if you've started a new medication recently, sometimes the effects of medication can affect appetite or sleep, so that could be a factor. And you may want to also consider whether or not what you're struggling with would be more aptly defined as binge eating or binge eating disorder. One of the major differences between night eating and the night eating associated with night eating syndrome and potential night eating that's more associated with binge eating disorder is a feeling of loss of control during eating. Binge eating episodes are uh, defined by this feeling of not being able to stop once you have started and oftentimes there isn't a good memory for what was consumed or how long the eating episode lasted. While many binge eating episodes do occur at night, these are actually distinct problems, um, both of which can affect functioning and for which both you may need to seek help from a mental health professional.